There's this famous argument on the street of Enugu that the people of Ogu are more educated than the people of Onsuka. Yeah, so today we'll be taking an hour trip from Enugu main town to a community in Ogu local government, Ogbowo precisely, because the claim is literally every family in uh, Ogbowo community has a professor in need. So we are going to be exploring that community today, looking at the famous statement that has come from people on the street of Enugu. Yes, Ngbo community is actually located in Ogu local government, like I've mentioned, and is surrounded by quite a number of uh, community, like uh, the popular Maku community, where the orientation camp is located in Enugu state. Yes, a lot of coppers is going to know that place. And not just that, the famous Akino Okwa Junction is actually located at Ngbo community. Yes, and at this junction is where the market uh, the Ogbo community market is also located. So right at that Kinokwa Junction, you have a free drive into the community proper. So those traveling to Potako, those traveling to Aba, they all know Akinokwa Junction. What made Akinokwa Junction popular? There's this famous food in Enugu called Akinokwa. I think around the whole of the southeastern states called Akinokwa. You can eat it with either palm kernel or you eat Akinokwa with uh, with coconut. Yes, yeah, so people were known to be selling this stuff at this junction very well. So I don't know if the community actually plant this um, Akinokwa, but we're going to see that as we get into this video. Yes, guys. So. The junction was very busy, but a tragic incident happened that made it a little bit. Uh, the government had to intervene and try and push those selling inside a bit because there was this uh, trailer who fed break and ran into a lot of persons at that junction. So they had to push those selling inside. So we start by the market first off to see what they have. If you are new to our channel, you're welcome to Alin TV. Please do well to click the subscribe button, turn on notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video. And just to mention, somebody actually drew this community to our mind or made us know about the community because she's from here and it's been a long time she saw her community and she said her children have not seen the community and she would like the children to actually see what the community look like. So we had to do a quick video for that person. So if you are the one, do well to rep that you are the one in the comment section and do let us know. So we stop by at their stream just to have the stream experience in the village and uh, you could see that they are doing their washing some are baiting by one side so just the normal village thing that everyone will enjoy to do when they are in the village and guys i must tell you i think i have a cool fresh air in this village compared to what i'm inhaling in enugu state and the, the environment was so cool and calm like i didn't want to return to enugu because the village life just got to me and the the, the, the air is actually healthier compared to what we experience in the city at the end of this vlog please do well to let us know what you think about it in the comment section and let us know your thoughts so we are in the famous st john's catholic church in the Bowl community yes they said this one of the, it was one of the first catholic church that was built in the local government and neighboring communities actually came here to fellowship and this woman that grew from this community actually requested for a clip of this church so i had to take permission to just give you a drone shot of what the famous st john's catholic church Ubowo looks like currently good maintenance habit i must say the buildings are still looking beautiful they are still looking very strong and it's well maintained by the community and i think the priest is doing a great job so that is it i hope you are happy to see st john's catholic church in ubo where you fellowship before you traveled out of ubo community so i'm i'm, I'm excited for you you know as we are excited to see it. me myself being here i'm really really excited to experience the community. So we'll be taking it down to the community school. Yes, look at this, the Benwell Lodge, Imama Umbo. They said this lodge has been here for for years. So that it was one of the first lodge that came to 
or good local government yes it's very famous so copper still use it when they are out of camp and a whole lot of people still patronize the lodge so let's take it down to the school at ubo that makes them claim the ubo people are the most educated people in southeastern region or in enugu state precisely pardon me in enugu state so we're going to be going to the famous school now we learned that this school it was one of the first schools that came into Enugu State and also Enugu local government and neighboring communities as well sent their children to school at this school and I believe you that requested for this video let us know also in the comment section if you schooled here as well if this was a school you attended as well one thing I, I, I will not fail to mention so that uh, as you share this video let it get to the appropriate bodies the road is not so smooth it's not so good around the community yeah we actually had to drive at a very minimal speed because the bombs were much the road was rough so if you are in power you are in government in Enugu state and you from this community please do well to help them to help them upgrade the road just a few portions of the road is actually good so i just said let me trip that in let me mention that and if you are from Menugu state and you are from this community also do rep in the comment session and if you are from Menugu as well what do you think of the argument that is currently going on that the people of Umbobo from our local government are the most educated so will be observing the school we learned that the school was brought by the missionary as way back as so many years ago so we'll be seeing that shortly guys so let's keep driving like i said do well to help us share this video um, so that you can get to everybody from Enugu state as well as the government so that the roads around here can be fixed yeah we also learned that this community is very 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 good with um, palm wine and as well with the famous palm canning that they use in it in Akinokwa. So oye, palm oye is very, very, very much available in this town. So we'll be exploring that option as well. So town hall school, you just saw the symbol. The town hall school is directly opposite the boys' school. So this is the boys' school. The first thing I saw when I got to this school is the fact that the building was looking so strong, just like the way the missionaries built it as a den. Like the build, this the, the 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 building is still looking strong. Boy Secondary School Ubo. The building is still looking very 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 strong, and the paint is well maintained. And of course, you can see my wife. I never walk alone, <laughs> so we are always together shooting this kind of content. So the school environment, um, according to the community people, said they consider it to be like their their square. Major activities is done in the field of the school. You know, so that is it so i had to just take a quick move around the compound of the school and um, i could see that all the windows are still there the doors are still there and the building is looking strong and they keep painting it to maintain the beauty and the roof obviously has been changed to this now but then the building is looking still very 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 solid i believe you can see so they said this was one of the first schools that came into our good local government and uh, a lot of old boys has passed out from here so if you are seeing this video and you are an old boy from boy secondary school also do let us know i learned that the town school directly opposite this is um the primary so i believe a lot of people also graduated from there do also rep that you graduated from the town school and we'll pass the guest school while we're driving down to this one so it was a great experience seeing that the missionary building is still standing strong and well maintained by the people of Ubo. And the man we spoke to in this place, he didn't want to be seen on camera, said they take so much pleasure training their children in school and they can sacrifice anything for their children to get to the peak of their career. We actually asked for recommendation as to where we can see where they are tapping palm wine so we can go and experience this. They said they have good palm wine, but we didn't really see any joints. So I don't know where that claim of them having palm wine is coming from anyway. So if you are from Ubowo, do let us know the place we can get palm wine around here. So when we visit again, we will do well to join you guys in drinking your awesome palm wine. But then now we are visiting uh, where they do their oil. So, but this place we are now is where they do the breaking, where they shell off the palm kernel. So you can see that a lot of the shares are on the ground and these shares are very 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 useful and it's it's also help in control of erosion as well so you can see a lot of the shares on the floor and these bags you are seeing 
some are shared some are pump kernel ready to be to be shared off so we'll be showing you the machine shortly we had a quick interaction with the community people they were excited that we're going to put up this video on the internet because i actually had to we, me and my wife had to search through the internet we could not really find any video regarding this community eh, on the on the net so it was a very difficult task for us so there was no video at all of the community so these are the machines they use in shelling off um the palm kernel in the bull community they said they have a bigger meal down down inside the bush where they do the oil we could not really get there because we are running out of time i needed to return back to enugu main town so but we had a very interesting interaction with these people and it was great and they are excited that their their community will be on the net so if you enjoyed this vlog do well to let us know in the comment section what you think we appreciate your support for our channel if you are not yet a subscriber please do well to click the subscribe button and turn on notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video and don't forget to give us your thoughts in the comment section i'll catch you in our next video Bye.